summit is still a day away, but the activity on ground is frantic. So much so that CNBC TV 18 learns a few big ticket agreements are now a mere formality. So will this year's extravaganza be different from those of the last two years, where big ticket promises amounted to not much? CNBC TV 18's Purnima Murli and Arundhati Ramanan find out. The Karnataka government has a lot to pray for as it heads into yet another three-day industry interaction to bring investment back to the state. Events like this year's Invest Karnataka, which were held in preceding years, have mainly garnered promises, with even the best of intentions falling prey to poor infrastructure and slow clearances. Take for instance, the 2010 Global Investor Meet. Of the 389 MOUs signed, only 108 projects were implemented. 163 projects are still under implementation. Again, the 2012 Global Investor Meet saw 751 MOUs being signed but only 68 projects were implemented, while 244 projects are still under implementation. The state has also drawn a lot of flag for conditions that have made neighbouring states look more attractive. Cases in point, Hero Motor Corp chose Andhra Pradesh for its 2,200 crore rupee factory, Korean steelmaker POSCO scrapped plans to build a $5.3 billion steel plant in the state due to delays in land acquisition, and e-commerce firm Amazon chose to set up a warehouse in Telangana after it failed to resolve tax disputes with the Karnataka government. But the new Congress-led Siddharamaya government is confident it can do better, and sources say negotiations with various investors are done, and all that's needed are signatures. The JSW Group, we learn, is going to be a big investor, pumping over 16,650 crore rupees into the state. This includes JSW Steel setting up an additional facility in Bellari district for 12,000 crore rupees, JSW Energy adding a 4,200 crore rupees, 660 megawatt thermal plant to its current facility, and JSW Cement embarking on a 450 crore rupee expansion plan. The Adani Group is learned to be another big investor. Its 11,500 crore rupee promise involves Adani Power expanding capacity to over 3,000 megawatts from the current 1,800 megawatts. Remember, the company had acquired Urupi Power Corporation from Lanco Infratech in April last year. And then there's Sriram Properties, which is raring to enter a new vertical. The summit will see the announcement of a 3,000 crore rupee investment by the company to set up an amusement park in and around Bengaluru. That's not all. We learned that ahead of the three-day summit, the state government has already cleared four IT projects worth 3,000 crore rupees, of which chip maker Intel will contribute over 1,000 crores. This has officials excited and confident that this year's new and improved edition of the Investor Meet will meet the 5 lakh crore rupee investment target the Chief Minister has set, and of course, a conversion rate that's far better than that of the previous years. With Purnima Murli in Bengaluru, in Mumbai, Arundhati Ramanan.